tonight. The kind of praise that praises in spite of haters. Hallelujah. The kind of praise that would dance out of my priestly garments. Come on, somebody. The kind of praise that would make people jealous with me. I got the kind of praise, hallelujah, that would shift my role, that would shift my praise.
just look up to heaven and begin to say something out loud. Come on, begin to tell us how much you love him. Hallelujah. Come on, make it an amethyst. Allow the Holy Spirit to sit down on you tonight.
tonight for being in the house of God. Yes. Praise Amen. God. Y'all can be seated for a moment. Amen. We're going to we're gonna move expeditionally what the Lord has uh, shared unto us tonight. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I am grateful for the invitation. Um, knowing that this is the first night of three nights, praise God. And I'll, often, like I said, is, man, it's something when God asks you to come the first night or come the last night. I'm going to tell you something because in that first or that last night, it's, it, why it's important because it is a duration time. Come on, say duration. duration. In other words, how it starts will be how it continues. How it ends will still be how it continues. So I find it a pleasure that Pastor Murray, I don't know, you know, I know y'all going to get a lot of preaching this week, praise God, and shout and hoop and all of that, but I'm, I come to do what I need to do. Amen. 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 God, I don't know who you are, but I hear the Spirit of God say, stand on your feet. But I'm out there by whole shot. Glory to God. God in this season, He's asking you to walk out of some things. He's expressing you to walk out of some things and those are some tough things. God in the next 30 days, He's going to begin to show you, He's going to begin to show you things and people that are not for you. You love hard, and I hear God say you love real hard. And because you love hard, it's hard for you unless He moves you away from them. You're quick to say what the devil is doing, but God says, no, a lot of it is me. But watch him in the next 30 days. He's going to begin to move people away from you. Come on, y'all take the brakes off of me, all right? Take the brakes off of me. I, I, feel you, I, feel you, I feel you kind of smothering. And I'm going to flow. Glory to God. Amen. right now, woman of God, glory to God, God is going to begin to change a lot of things in your life, especially around your living space. God says he's going to begin to move, hallelujah, and it's going to express to seem like it's a, a tough move, a radical move, but I'm telling you right now, God is moving you to a place that he's taking you through faith school. Hallelujah. You hear me? He's taking you through faith soon that he's going to allow you to really begin to see your faith. Hallelujah. See, you can look at people in their faith and say, I wish I had faith like there. God says he's already deposited in you in everything that you have, desire and everything to move. Hallelujah. This year I also see you going back to school. I see you going back to school and doing some things because that's a shift. Come on, come on I need everybody to say shift. shift. That's a shift going on in your life. 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 My God, that guess what? God is preparing you for that shift. Thank you, Father. What I'm on Sakai, Allah. Glory to God. God is moving you to a place. Hallelujah. He's going to shift career. He's going to shift. Uh, he's going to shift. I'm going to shift. I'm going to shift. He's going to shift your career. Hallelujah. If you allow me to, as, as to prophesy to you, glory to God, God told me to tell you where you are career wise is dead. And that is why you don't have the joy anymore. That is why, my God, you like, my God, the peak. They don't recognize and all of that. But God is moving you to a new place and a decision, hallelujah. And it's going to cause, my God, it's going to begin to act like it's squeezing you. Whatever I seek in the Glory to God. Not only that, I hear God say that these hands. Yeah. These hands are creative hands. Now I'm sick out of the high up. I think Pastor said something about my God living beneath your privilege. Glory to God. See, it's one thing, even when we prophesy to you, but it's one thing for you to get it. To know who you are. Glory to God. It's, it's important for you to know. Hallelujah. I decree and declare by the end of this week, your head will no longer be in your lap, but it will be in the ceiling because God can do it.
I always pray, always pray before I come because I want to make a deposit in the house. Yes, yes. The Spirit of God said that how you have saw it will be no more. God says when He brings you to a pentacle, He brings you to a place in Him. Not only do you carry the spirit of your father, but you also have a dual spirit. And that is the position that you are in. That is why you're beginning to see a squeeze of things, even of old, of how they did church, and you no longer want to do it, and you're trying to figure out how to get it all together. God said that you're not going to be able to get it all together because he's going to move you into a place. This ministry, hey, 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 come on, say this ministry. This ministry will tap into marketplace, entertainment, and church. God is going to cause people, actors. He's going to cause actors. He's going to cause people that don't know God to fall at your feet and give you the responsibility. I see, I see airplanes flying. I see airplanes flying from California to New York to Atlanta. I see you come, you getting off of airplanes, and guess what, my God? I see briefcases, and you coming straight to the pulpit. Hey. I see you and Andrea living in two different cities. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. I see you living in two different cities. Glory to God. You are going to be seen. Listen to me. You're going to be seen real soon. Praise God. By a white Caucasian. Glory to God. That is in the middle in the movie industry. And God is going to give you a front row seat. That is going to bring a lot of monies in. And I see you moving between two, three different cities and watching God. I see you in this hand. I hear God say, prepare. Even though apostle I laid hands on you, I hear the Spirit of God say, not only he laid hands on you, you lay hands on somebody. Because that's going to have to be a person in place. That's going to be a person in place that God is going to allow to monitor this house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God says that you've been trying to lease a place. You've been trying to find a place for this ministry. God said there's a building that is sitting. It's red. It has two stained glass windows on the front of it. God says he's going to move you from Jonesboro to Ellenwood. Listen. God is going to move you. God is trying to set it up that you would not have to have lease that is going to be paid for. Come on. I wish somebody said paid for. You're gonna say pay for. Some of y'all spectating. Watch God move on your behalf. It's gonna be so radical and so fluent. I see it happening as soon as around March. What I'm about seven behind. So while you're preparing in your monies and all of that together. God says, I ain't going to need your money. I'm going to need your trust. And I watch me do it for you. Glory. Yes. In Jesus' name. Come on, bless God. I hear the 
Holy Spirit, God said that the people that this year, that's going to be a proposal. Get thee out of thy country 
and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. Verse 2, and I will make of thee a great nation. Yes, sir. And I will bless thee, watch this, and make thy name great. Come on, say I'm already great. I'm already great. Come on, say I'm already great. I'm already great. Come on. And thou shalt be a blessing. Glory to God. Verse 3, and I will bless them that bless thee. This is where the problem comes in for us Christians. Watch the next stanza. And curse him that curseth thee. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, glory to God. Uh -huh. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Uh -huh. I'm going to read some other chapters, but I wanted to, I wanted to read that and pin here, glory to God. I want to talk tonight about leave it. Come on, turn to your neighbor and say, in this season, season there's some things you're going to have to leave. You have to leave. Come on, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, glory to God. I know, it's, I know it's making you cry, I know it's hurting you, I know that it's worrying you, I know that you've been with it a long time, I know you have babies sitting in it, I know that they have gotten... My God, some things have got an impression on you, but I'm telling you, if thus saith the Lord in this house, you are going to have to leave it, I declare. Come on, say, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Let me work here. Now watch this. Faith hangs out between now and later. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I'm going to teach you now, so follow with me. Yes, sir. Faith hangs out between now or later. Mm -hmm. All right. With God's assignment, come on, say, I have an assignment. I have an assignment. Every person in here tonight, every person in here tonight, you have a personal assignment. Yes, Not only do you have a personal assignment, you have a you have a conglomerate assignment as well. Everybody have assignment. Say, I have an assignment. I have an assignment. Let me share with you tonight. Your assignment was not for you to go to work every day, come home, go to the movies every now and then, and then come back and do it all over again. God has a divine assignment. Yes, amen. amen. Are y'all here? Yeah. But God's assignments on your life will always consist of, watch this, deadlines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Come on, anybody lately, some, some of you right now, come on, take the brace off of them tonight. Wow. Some of you right now, even though we're almost at the end of January, right. yeah. right. watch this, yeah. you're finding yourself already running against deadlines.
never be denied. He'll never be denied. See, he's a God. Watch this. He's a God that works best when you are about to lose it. Shut 
pressure right now. That's your word right now. Some of you can get up and go home now because you realize I don't care how much you cry. I don't care how much you scream. I don't care how much you whine. And after you do all of that, you still got to get up and still do it. Do it. it.
to get out. He sent word and told the man, now remember I'm down here. Right, right, right. And the man left him still there. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. See, I want to know what says. I want to know some people right now. Are you willing to still to understand that God is calling you to leave even though you've been left? You left. <laughs> <laughs> you been left. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you gonna realize he ain't coming back? <laughs> he left you miserable anyway. <laughs> so leave it. Glory to God. Leave it. Yes. I got you in there. Leave it. You in there. Paul had a breaking point. I'm almost finished. On the road of Damascus. Oh, yes, he had a road of Damascus experience. Yes, See, I love it, my God, because really a lot of breaking points blind you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yes, yes. But get this. Yes, yes. See, God don't need your eyesight. Right. Right. He needs your faith. Did yes. you hear what I said? God don't need your eyesight. He needs your faith. Yes. He don't need you to question, Lord, where we're going, where we're going. No, he just needs you to follow. Last time I checked, the word said, those that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. You have always been led to be voice activated. Peter had a breaking point. While all the other boys was in the boat. <laughs> The only one asked to come out. Yes. See, what a lot of you don't understand is your waking, your unwakening moments in your life are really your call to come to the water. All right. Oh, y'all gonna miss this. Come on. Come on. I don't need you to show up tonight on the short bus. I need to be on the long bus tonight. All right. So God, what's this? He told Peter, Be it to come. Glory to God. Now, why would, prophet, why would he be, he tells him that, when he really didn't want to come? <laughs> okay, y'all gonna miss that. <laughs> See, the problem with your life is, you're asking God to do more in your life. <laughs> but if you're asking him to do more, he's gonna be at you to come. <laughs> And it's going to require you to do something that you don't have ability to do. Oh, God. See, you ain't good at working a nine to five, but you don't know nothing about entrepreneurship. See, you can show up late on somebody else's job, but if you show up late at your own, you don't get paid. Somebody that has some seats. 
chips. Disconnect from them. Yes. Come on. 
You come, you complaining. <laughs> you complaining comfortably. Yes, 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 Yeah. 
that's closing your ears. That you won't be able to hear. Oh God, some of you around your house and where you are, God's been speaking. And some of you don't understand, you've been hearing him say, move. You've been hearing him say, leave. Oh, oh my gosh. You've been hearing him say, don't go. You've been hearing him say, move away. You've been hearing him say, let it die. You've been hearing him say all of this. But you can't hear because you're so comfortable with where you are while you complain. Wow. That's good. That's all by itself. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. It's not about half a sense. I dealt with the first book, Genesis. The book of beginnings. In the first month. Wow. Of the first decade. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Of you with an opportunity to make your first move. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 And here you are. Come on. Mm -hmm. I said, you know this what, Pastor? Mm -hmm. I've been in a series teaching on honesty. Mm -hmm. awesome. mm -hmm. The truth be told, we good. We good with coming to church. And shouting and still broke. Brother, we still we we good about coming. Yeah. And those giving us real praise that really don't have eyes to see you really. Those can hear you. But I decree and declare in this house that God is raising up a people. They're going to smell you before they see you. I feel a fragrance coming in here tonight. Give me some screens. that God been telling you several years to leave. And you still been holding on to it. Do another year gotta go back? For you to realize yeah you already at your work. Your faith is on watch. Not everyone standing. God is. God has made it real clear tonight. Your breakthrough is in your leaving. Yeah. You hear what I said? Yeah. Your breakthrough is in your leaving. Oh, yeah. Say that, say that, say that. In 2008, that's what we got to realize when tragedy loved one dies on us. They physically leave us. But emotionally they never leave us. But what happens when you get caught up of the yesterday? You still make your own life. 
And tonight, God want to do a work in this house. I know you're here. Before we sing a war going on, and if you're going to win, before we do anything, that's some stuff you got to leave. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's you talked about a man in the foxhole. It's dangerous to be in a hole with somebody still at home. Did you hear what I just said? It's dangerous to be in war. And you got a soldier in the hole with you. You got a soldier in the hole with you. And their mindset is still at home. My God. Hey, you stop. Not a word in that. Listen. God said, let my word tonight. That's what he told me about. He said, let my word marinate the house. To begin a work. You cannot do without beginning. What are you doing right now? And you have not left your home. Thank <laughs> you. 